Welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, I want to explain vertical offsets and one situation that I could think of that it would be extremely helpful. As you can see on the screen right here in 3D, I've got a berm to my left and I've got a roadway that I'm sitting and I'm kind of straddling the curb and gutter. What I've done here is in the 3D mode, I've gone to the layers manager in the top right here the overlays, excuse me, and I've turned off the machine so that I can kind of roll it in 3D and see what I need to see. Go ahead and hit apply. So this is the 3D view without the machine. What I need to do here is I need to fill up the berm because as I swing over, you can see that the berm actually has a little bit of a fill right there. I need to cut three feet behind the back of curb for the curb guys, but I also have a cross section that I need to cut for the road. So I'm going to show a horizontal offset to at least establish a line. And then I'm also going to show you vertical offsets to set for the different elevations. So in horizontal offset, I can come in here. I can zoom down and I can pick the top back of curb. You can see the lines going one way. What I'm going to do is put a three foot and I'm going to put it the way that I need. And the way you do that is the plus or minus. I'm going to go minus or plus, excuse me, that's going to put it behind it. So I've established a line that now I can see that I need to cut to. But in vertical offsets, I'm going to go in here and actually create memories so that I can toggle through them really quick as I dig. So instead of just typing in an actual offset, there's this black box. looks like a cardboard box with the lids open. If you hit that, you can come in here and create memories, vertical offset memories. I'm going to create a couple here. In my landscape area, I, I'm going to call it landscape, but it doesn't trans, uh, translate over to the main screen yet. I'm going to put landscape just so I know which one it is. And I'm going to put actually a positive 6, assuming that some of this is topsoil. I'm going to put a 0 .50 plus in there and set one just a hair higher than vertical offset. I'm going to save that. Now for my curb and gutter, I'm going to create one, and I'm going to call it gutter. This one, though, I need to make sure is only from finished grade down. I'm going to make sure it's about, uh, it's a one-foot curb, so I'm going to go 1.50 minus from the finished grade, and I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to create one more for my road section. The road section, I'm going to put six inches lower than that. So I'm going to call this the road. It's going to be my subgrade. So we'll put road subgrade. And I'm going to put that at uh, two foot minus below grade. So now that I've actually set these up where I need them, I'm going to hit done and apply. And as you come out here to the main screen, now all I have to do is just toggle through by touching the buttons here. So instead of physically changing the vertical offset every time, I can simply just go between zero. I can go plus five for my berm. I can go minus 150 for my curb and gutter. And I can go two for my roadway. So just to get started here for my curb and gutter, we'll go ahead and you can see my offset here, my line, my red line, which is that. So I'm going to change my red carrot over so that I could use offline at the bottom or my light bar at the top. But my offline isn't in there, so I touch and hold on the bottom ribbon, and I go to ribbon, uh, text ribbon, and you can see that I've got it here. I just don't have it in the right spot. So I'm going to touch it and bring that one out, and I'm going to put offline up in the middle. So I've got cut fill left, offline, and cut fill right. Now it's set up the way I want it on my screen. I'm going to use lane guidance to help carry that grade for me. So I'm going to turn lane guidance on where I'm at. So now what lane guidance has done is it's held the uh, crown of the road and it's held the EOP. So that's going to help me at least establish that grade first. So as I get in here, you can see I'm right on the edge right there. My offline is at five hundredths and my light bar is right there. But I've got about a cut. So another thing I can do here to help with this uh, cutting the correct grade 
is just watch my tilt rotator and make sure I get that to where it matches because the grade is on a little bit of a slope. So once I establish that, I can kind of cut along that edge right there. So I know that I'm three feet behind the back of curb. I can still reference that dotted line to know where the top of the berm would be, but I don't have my offset in there yet. But I'm still just trying to establish a line for my red line here, which is for my curb and gutter guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just chase that line. It is an offset, so it doesn't matter if I'm way close on this right this second because it's a three foot offset behind back and curb. But once I've established grade here or gotten close, then I can go to vertical offset here and change to my minus two feet. Now what I can do is go over here and change my line set up here, my horizontal offset and I can change that to where I've got actual edge of pavement and at that actual edge of pavement is what I'm going to cut it out so I'm not going to put a vertical offset in there I'm going to set that at zero and just chase that line at this point I can leave lane guidance on but now I have a red line to actually chase right there so we'll go ahead and just start scratching some of this out and at the same time, I'm trying to build some of my berm in. What I will do so that the curb guys have a little bit of extra wiggle room is I'll go back in there and actually add maybe two feet. But we'll change it to the opposite side so it's leaving a little bit extra. Two feet. We'll hit apply. We'll see where that line comes out at. Right along about where I'm cutting right here. Since that was gonna be about six inches lower than my other shelf, We'll start checking grade. You can see that I'm pretty close right there. So we'll chase that red line. Clean this up a little bit. Check grade back here. Pretty close there. So we'll clean up the upper shelf one more time. What I can do is go back to my vertical offset, change that to uh, my 150 down. Start watching grade right here. Once I've established that grade, we can check it one more time. Looks like we're pretty good. We'll do one more cleanup pass on that. Then we'll just toggle back through this and hit this vertical offset, which puts me at two, uh, the two feet, just a little bit lower than that one pass. So we'll go ahead and just clean this up for my roadway. Come back here and check grade. Looks like we could go just a hair more, like five hundredths. So using my horizontal offsets and my vertical offsets, I've established a curb and gutter grade right here. And I've established curb and gutter on the left, roadway on the right. Turn my lane guidance off. Change this vertical offset to a plus five. Go look at the top of the berm real quick just to get things close. You can see 
based on this, the numbers are kind of going to chase my red carrot. We'll change that to the right side. Pretty well right there. So this is just to get landscaping close, make sure that the material gets put in the right spots. Things don't get over exported, et cetera, et cetera. We'll go ahead and set down on the top there and look at it. Looks like we're pretty close. We could probably put a little bit more on there, but at least the material from the roadway got thrown over and some of that can smear back down behind top back and curb. But this is a video from Site Tech Inner Mountain that just shows horizontal offsets, vertical offset memories.